You are now joining the meeting. Hello, it's Derek. Everybody hear me okay? Yeah. Good deal. Um, I've got Coach here. We'll go ahead, Coach. As I said after the game Saturday, I thought we did some really good things. I, I liked our toughness. Uh, it's a hard game to play. Uh, we, we knew that certainly when we scheduled it. Uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, from the standpoint of, of our concentration mentally on the defensive end, especially after the first four or five minutes, I thought we were really good. We were really locked in, did a great job uh, there on that end of the floor. And then offensively, obviously, I thought our, our shot selection, I thought our execution was really good other than the possessions where we – you know, got a little sloppy with our passing. I thought we should have played with about eight or nine turnovers. Instead, we had 14. So, you know, it's five or six wasted possessions that we've got to try to clean up. But uh, I thought we attacked the basket, got to the foul line, uh, thought we shot the ball well from two, three, and the free throw line, uh, and just thought we did some really, really good things. Um, you know, obviously they scored on – we subbed there a little bit at the end, and, and we've got to find a way to finish with that crew towards the end there. They scored five out of the last six possessions at the very end of the game when we were up 20, and uh, we've got to figure out a way to finish that a little bit better than what we did. But all in all, I thought it was you know really, really a solid uh, performance by our guys, and I, I really was impressed with their mental uh, toughness and their ability to handle that system and that style of play. I thought that was really good. Uh, obviously, moving forward, we play a you know very very good uh, Villanova team. Uh, I watch them on film. They don't have really any weaknesses or any holes. They're, they're you know they're older. Um, they got a lot of guys back from their team that won the Big East and won 29 games. They're very good offensively. They can score inside and out. They drive the ball. They post the ball. Um, you know, they, they play well together. They're a high assist team. You know, defensively, they turn you over. They rebound it well at both ends. You know, it's going to be a great challenge for us. But, uh, you know, one we knew that uh, would be there when we scheduled it. And our guys are excited about the opportunity uh, to play against a really, really uh, good team. Certainly uh, at this juncture, one of the best in the country. And then uh, to play in Madison Square Garden and to get a chance to be a part of the, of the uh, Jimmy V Classic is also an honor and privilege. So, you know, we're, we're excited to get to New York here this afternoon uh, after practice and uh, finish up our prep and get ready to go for tomorrow night. Questions? John, this is Shannon. Um, obviously, Villanova is a pretty uh, balanced team. Uh, maybe you can comment just on on that balance, the challenge that presents, and do you feel like they're similar to you in a way, just that experience and the depth on their roster? Well, I would hope that's that would be a heck of a compliment um, if someone thought that. You know, I, you know, I, I we try to learn from every opponent that we play. You know, for example, I, I thought American was the hardest cutting team we have played against uh, in the last two years, and so I showed our guys clips of that. I said, fellas, when I ask you to cut, right here is how you should cut. Um, you know, with Villanova, you've got a team that has experienced all that success, but no one on their team takes more than nine to ten shots a night max. A lot of guys, you got six or seven, maybe even eight guys, I'd have to look at the stat sheet, but that shoot between six to nine point something times. They're very, very well balanced. They share the ball. Um, they don't take bad shots. You know, they play very well together. And uh, I mentioned that uh, to our guys yesterday, you know, and I, I think that certainly is a compliment to, you know, th their uh, their staff and their players that they that they bought into playing the game the right way. Hey, John, this is Marcus. Uh, you got a group of guys on your team who, who, who like challenges and playing in big games like, you know, events like this. Are, are they excited to get back out there after having just one last week and, and get right back on the horse again? Yeah, no question. You know, obviously we didn't play particularly well uh, la last week. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of reasons for that. You try to analyze it afterwards and figure out, you know, um, you know how you can play better. Uh, but at, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, our, our our guys do. I mean, they like they like challenges. Um, they are competitive, and they are looking forward uh, to an opportunity to to get back out there. They were looking forward to the you know opportunity over the weekend where we just got done playing American to get back out and play after playing Miami. So, 
you know, I, I think the, our guys certainly are competitive. Um, they understand it's a great challenge. We have a great deal of respect for Villanova, and uh, you know they're looking forward to playing the game. John, this is Mark. Um, you know, when I was thinking about Villanova and reading a little bit about them, um, they play they play tough. Are they a team that likes to throw the first punch? There's almost it seems like there's almost a nastiness to them. They they they're, they're pretty serious minded, aren't they? They are. They're very tough. Um, they're older, and I think they've really bought into bought into that. Uh, they're very physical. They're very tough. They take charges. They dive on loose balls. You know, as I said earlier, tough. There's just not a lot, a lot of weaknesses. I mean, there isn't. And I don't see any. You know, they're really, really, really good. Um, and um, you know, that's good. I mean, uh, we're gonna find out a lot about our team. It's a long season. We're taking it one game at a time. But anytime you get an opportunity like this uh, to play against such a challenging opponent, it gives you an opportunity to learn a lot about yourself. And, um, you know, we've done that already through the eight games, and this is another one of those opportunities. Hey, John, it's Jeremy. Um, speaking of that, do you, do you guys feel like you'll know more about your team after this non-conference than, than maybe even last year, given some of the opponents like Villanova? Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we learned a lot about our team last year as well. You know, each year is different. Last year's team was different because of nine newcomers. I mean, that's... Uh, almost unheard of, you know. Um, you know, I, we we know more about our team right now at this juncture because we're older. But at the same time, I think one of the things you certainly uh, underestimate and you forget sometimes, and I have a tendency to rein myself back in, is you know, hey, Starks and Cosby are older, but they haven't played with these guys. You know, they played in practice, but not in games. So that's been the good part to kind of see that evolution through eight games. There is an adjustment period. You know, that's different than having all guys older and they all played last year. I mean, that's different. Um, I always talk about, the, and I really believe this, that there's a ripple effect um, regardless of, you know, what team I've coached when you add or delete even one person from a rotation or from a team. You know, it changes dynamic. So I think we've kind of been working through that. I like the progress we're making and figuring some things out. And, uh, you know, I look for us to continue to be a team that, that grows and gets better uh, and improves. You know, that's what we've done the first two years. My expectation's the same uh, here in the third year. So, you know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, in some respects, you know, we're learning that part a little bit. But last year was a different uh, animal, Jeremy. I was, I was learning something every day. <laughs> Every day with with nine newcomers. John, I know you uh, talked about just the aura, kind of of uh, Madison Square Garden, and um, I'm sure you've tried to impress that upon the team. I know they've played in a lot of big atmospheres, but um, what will you try to convey to them just about handling or you know being in that type of environment and that atmosphere? Well, I think the biggest thing, Shannon, is just trusting the system, trusting one another, and trusting the role that they've been given, that they're really, really good at it. Keep the main thing the main thing, and and, uh, and let's roll, you know, regardless of, of uh, you know, where the game's played. You know, that, now that's once it's tipped. Now, obviously, it, it, you know, to have a chance to play, you know, on national television, in the Jimmy V Classic, in Madison Square Garden. I do, I do not want them to take that for granted. It is a privilege. Uh, but once the ball tips, it's a game being played on a 94 by 50 court, and we've got to play. And we can't get caught up in misplaced emotion. I mentioned that last week. You know, and 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 I think it's the same thing certainly in this one. I know you said also that. Um Villanova doesn't have a lot of weaknesses, which is true, but um, maybe their post play isn't the strongest part of their uh, game. It, it, how important is it for you guys to maybe um, try to control that area or maybe how important is that to the game? Yeah, I think it's important. I think they're good down there. You know, now they, you know, a guy like Pinkston is six foot seven, but he plays bigger, stronger, tougher, uh, and taller than, than, than what he is. I think, you know, in watching. Uh, some clips from late last year relative to this year, I think the, the big fella, Ochafu's really improved and is an offensive threat. Um, you know, Jenkins gives them a different look. They may be a little undersized based on, on, on typical, you know, 
fours in particular, or maybe fives, but those guys play bigger than, 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 than what they are. Um, and, and uh, you know, I, I think they're a low down there, rebounding the ball, posting the ball. They're crafty. They're physical. You know, I, I think they're – I think they're just as good down there as they are on the perimeter. I think they're good in, in uh, both those areas. Anything else for Coach? All righty. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Safe Thank travels. You.